Okay, if you're here, um, then you know about these cars and you understand. If you're here by accident, go away, because you don't understand. And I don't want to explain it. Um, these are really unique cars, these Saabs. This is a 2001 with the high output 2 liter turbo. It's got 97,000 miles with the 5 speed. Um, and it's in actually really nice shape. Um, the seats, the interior is really nice. Um, the body is in nice shape. There's a couple of marks here and there. And I'll go around it. Um, I don't know how many of, of us are left that really just love these cars. Um, they're, they're a quality built Swedish car from Sweden. Um, GM obviously bought them and destroyed them. Um, built the usual government motor cars. If you've had one of these, you want another one. If you've never had one of these, you probably don't realize what you're missing. Let me, uh, let me get inside and start it. I'll open the hood and give you a shot at this. They're, they're obviously unique. The uh, shifter, the key, and the uh, seat belt is all in this one area. And it's because, as I understand, you want you want to be a couple inches apart from what you're doing. In this case, you put the key on, put it in neutral. Uh, you have all these lights on. I'm going to turn the key. And all these lights should come off. Except the door, obviously. Um, so you can see it's sitting there idling at a, a thousand. It has the traditional problem with the missing pixels, which pixel.net allows you to fix for $15 if you're willing to change that yourself. If not, it's $50 to have somebody on eBay do it for you. Um, it's got a tape in there. A tape. It's got a CD in there. Um, OnStar, obviously. Car shifts, runs fine. Uh, and you open the hood, you can take a peek. You might as well open the trunk also. I've got a new emblem for the hood. They all tend to go. Fuzzy, it's got new battery. Again, it's the two liter. This is the high output turbo. 200 and some horsepower. Um, it, it really just it runs great. You know, I don't have any excuses. There's no there's no nothing. It shifts smooth, there's no noises, no uh, funny starts, nothing. Uh, and then Come into the trunk here. The antenna doesn't go up and down. And I don't want to fix it. The trunk is nice. There's no uh, no animals living in there. Um, and the top works nice too. And I guess I should somehow show that, right? I don't know how to do this with the camera, but I'll do the best I can. There's a button here. Sorry, there's a button here, roof. So if you press this uh, back here, the trunk lid pops open. The top comes up, and I'll get under it here. And then you can see the top falls back down, and it locks back down, and then the top comes back and locks. You get that boop sound, you come up here, and you pull this lever back, and you lock it down.
What else can I say? Uh, oh, you should see the top, obviously. It's been closed open for a while. It's been great for the summer. These marks have just come out, but there's no, no problems with it. Uh, obviously, it has the glass glass rear with the defroster inside um, oh it also these things as you know well I say as you know those of you that know these cars um, have the one button windows so you go back here there's another button for windows you hit this and and all the buttons cut all the windows come up at the same time back and front So, again, 2001, 97,000 mile, convertible, high output turbo, uh, nice tires, um, no, uh, nice wheels, no excuses, no noises, no, uh, no problems, good running, five speed, just a fun car to drive with the top, uh, I'll go around it. Close this. All these things sound terrible on video as they clatter, but that's just a video sound. I'll back up a little bit. And my apology for the quality of the video. I'm not a videographer, but the car does speak for itself. Thank you.